guys welcome to my youtube channel so i am going to watch episode 6 of the crown season 6 i just finished watching the episode 5 and it was really great to see how william grieving is still mad he's still sad and all the people really obsessed with him i mean the girls and he didn't like it i mean you know he's not ready for it He's shy and he's just not really into that and I really love the actor because he's really good playing William even though it's just one episode but I really like him so yeah before I start to watch this episode don't forget to subscribe and like this video so here we go oh what is this but after almost 50 years on the throne it's out with Queen Elizabeth and in with King Tony. Who? What is going on right now? Leaves the Abbey to the strains of the new national anthem. Is she like having a dream or something? What the fuck is going on? Oh my god. How on earth you have that dream, Queen? I mean, you sleeping while listening to the news. Obviously, you have that kind of dream. Mr. Blair, people really do seem to love him and see him as a true son of England Ooh. and a unifying national symbol in a way they used to see. Well, me. Now is the time to find out what seems to have gone wrong and how we. I understand the impulse. The British royal family. Yeah. Professional liar man. Ooh. More than 2,000 subjects over the age of 18 were asked a series of yes or no questions about the monarchy. I think you're being quite insightful. Followed by some, at times, spirited debate. Of course, of course people are going to be debate about this. The data. Pollsters have now presented their findings. I really want to see the result of it. They were out of touch with ordinary people. 69% said yes. Oh, 69. Badly advised. 62% said yes. Asked if they were wasteful of public money. 54% said yes. Oh, how? Asked if they lacked compassion. 53% said yes. Dang. Asked if they had failed the Princess of Wales and badly in death as in life. A sobering. 66% said yes. The monarchy should continue in its present form. The proportion that agreed was just 10%. Dang. Kindness is coming on a beautiful popularity of goodwill. Well, it's a stretch of goodwill. Yes, it is. Oh, it's just like the Queen's Lady with their reputation. Usually their health and status. Well, I think this one might be different. Ooh, she listened to her guts. There's some things about this. Prime Minister, this one. I really love her outfit. <laughs> okay. Two hundred and fifty thousand members of the Women's Institute in the United Kingdom. Roughly, the population of half. Can you imagine a city run and populated entirely by the WI? It would have the tidiest streets in Britain. Everything would run on time. This moment. You will find in Britain a friend and an ally that will stand with you, work with you, fashion with you the design of a future built on peace and prosperity for all, which is the only truth that makes humanity worth preserving. Thank you. That was a clearly good speech. Resounding success for the Prime Minister in America. The New York Times says the Prime Minister has a new nickname. King Tony. Oh no, like her dream. Has come out in emphatic support of its attempts to break the <laughs> White House. It claims Mr. Blair has beguiled the city with his charms, mm. leaving Americans pining to have him as their president. Oh. Today. Not happy. This is an extraordinary political feat. Since 
to enter number 10, you've shown an uncanny ability to read the mood of the country better than anyone. And so I can't help but ask. What? What would you do to turn things round for us? Oh. What? <laughs> This is so stressful, you know. I'd like to start by thanking you for giving me the opportunity to, to do this. Um, I'm ashamed to say most of the time I don't think seriously about foreign views in this country. It's <laughs> subjective all over the hurtful and frivolous gossip. Really? I haven't noticed. <laughs> I can understand permitting members of the royal family to marry Catholics, but for Catholics to be the direct line of succession would open the way to a Catholic. Oh no, the Queen's mad. Someone has to oversee the swans in England's inland waterways, over which the crown has ancient prerogative right. But is that prerogative right? I understand that the road dates from the 12th century as a way to claim swans as delicacies for royal banquets. Now that the swan has, one can imagine, fallen out of the culinary repertoire, how does one justify the road today? Kings and queens might not be eating them anymore. Someone has to care for them. Ceremonies and state opening. Travers Herald Extraordinary, the gold stick in waiting, the silver stick in waiting, the gentleman usher of the sword of state. I think what you suggested is a purge of honorifics, uh, a bonfire of sinecures might be a useful concession and PR victory. Why don't you just give the book to her so she can read it? Wait, is she gonna like fire some of them? It's my job to supervise the draft wear and urban wear across all the royal palaces. I oversee stocks, I guard against any damage and breaches. My responsibilities also include folding all 170 of the embroidery. This guy, he is important. Yeah, I hope she's not gonna fire him because his job is actually important. Yeah, I feel like she's not gonna like fire them. I mean, look at her. She doesn't want it. Yeah. Did he though? We have now conducted a thorough review of all the offices in my household, and what we discovered was not in the face of its 
extravagance or luxury, or a collection of empty Ruritanian titles, but an extraordinary array of precious expertise, skills that have been passed down for generations, often within the same families. Tradition is our strength, respect for our forebears, yeah. and the preservation of generations of their wisdom and learned experience. Modernity is not always the answer. Sometimes antiquity is too. Agree. I mean, as long as it doesn't spend a lot of money about it, you know. I just wanted to express my relief now. That I came to my senses. At the moment, I think we risk compromising the very things that make us distinctive. But it might be best if I, personally, were to move on. Oh. Robert. It's true. At crucial moments, the palace has failed to win public opinion. And much of the blame rests with me. My problem is I'm an old stick. I'd rather not change anything at all. I mean, he I is. see things as binary. I mean, keep things as they are. Want to play things I'm in the gardens of the West. My identity, Robin, Jacqueline, is far better place to do that. He's much more attuned and deserving of a step up. Of course, Robin will live in exile. Private secretary, but he's still a young man. Is there nothing I can I mean, which is just good, right? If he's young, he understands Sometimes what is about, you know, the era that this has way. changed. Everyone benefits. The public gets set signal. You get better advice than I could ever possibly give. Every minute has been an honor. I'm actually like him. No, it's gonna be so sad for the queen. I think they they don't like this. Look at what we've done in the House of Lords. Yeah, they they don't like this. Taking drastic action against hereditary privilege. Thank you very much. Look, the world has changed. Oh, what does it mean? Why are they clapping? What what does it mean? <laughs> they don't agree with him, right? I mean, they love the Queen. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! You were political with the WI. The one thing we pride ourselves on never being. As far as criticisms go, being too political is one of Aston Jackie's. You like someone describing you as being too royal. I think I've come to realize there's no such thing as too royal. Doing it, you would probably and unapologetically. I understand. So, this episode is focusing about the Prime Minister and the Queen. In the beginning, we see the Queen have a nightmare that the Prime Minister will become the King of the United Kingdom. I'm just really curious about this Prime Minister, Mr. Blair. Like, is he one of the good Prime Minister ever? Because obviously I don't know about the politic in the UK, but I really want to know about it. I know this episode is focusing about the tradition in the royal family. I mean like, um, if the case is that the tradition is spend a lot of money, they should stop it. But if it's not, they have to keep it, right? I mean, I don't know about the budget for all that, but I hope it's not really that expensive. There are a bunch of a good tradition that we have to remember, that we still have to follow. I mean, as long as it's good, if it's bad, then we have to remove it. I thought that the Queen will fire all of them if, because, yeah, it's kind of like, it's really sad because it was like, tradition and I mean I don't know about the budget so she didn't fire them it means that the budget is not really that expensive I mean I don't know right I don't know maybe some of the people think that it's it's too expensive and they want to stop it I mean if it's a good tradition they should keep it I really love how this episode in the beginning until before the end 
everyone loved the prime minister or everyone like agree with him and then at the end woman institute doesn't like him and it's just really sad for robert he wants robin to take the job and i think yeah robin is is a good one that replace him but yeah it's really sad because it's been like a long time we we see robert in this show right all right then that was my reaction for this episode i really hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe like this video share it and see ya